Hello, let's discuss a new term today, ERP, that is Effective Rate of Protection. Before discussing ERP, I would like to talk a little bit about Official Rate of Tariff. What is Official Rate of Tariff? It is Nominal Rate of Tariff. So, what is Nominal Rate of Tariff? All of us know what's the purpose of this Nominal Rate of Tariff, right? Actually, it's intended to discourage the import of final product and to promote the domestic production in the protected industry. So, higher the rate of nominal tariff, it was assumed that higher would be the degree of protection and vice versa. So, it is used to be regarded as a measure of the degree of protection. However, the nominal rate of tariff was not appropriate measure of the degree of protection. Its limitation was, it's considered only the effect of tariff on final imported product. So, here is the importance of ERP. ERP indicates the degree of protection a project receives from international competition. It can be used in determining the competitive strength of the product in the international market. So, in the calculation of ERP, the key point or the basic parameter is value added. So, first of all, you have to understand what's value added. It is the difference between selling price of a product and cost of material input. So, the purpose of charging tariff is domestic protection, okay? So, due to this uh, domestic protection given by the government, there will be a difference in value addition at domestic prices as compared with the international prices. Let's take an example. You are residing in India and you want to start a business, okay? Suppose you need to import raw material for producing goods. So, in a country, import of raw material may be either duty-free or they will impose a very low tariff rate on the import of input. Let's take an example. That is the initial importable item price. Let it be 1000, okay? Then, uh, importable input price. Input means you have to purchase the raw material, okay? Okay. Uh, so, the initial importable input price, suppose it is uh, uh, 600, okay? That is, you have to import raw material. Huh? So, the input price is uh, 600. Then, you have to assemble the product, display this in your showroom, you have to take effort to resell and you have to convince the customers. All these things are needed, okay? So, here the extra value added is how much? 1000 minus 600, that is 400, right? So, the value added is the difference of selling price and the cost of its material inputs. Here, the selling price is 1000, okay. And the cost of material input is 600. So, the value added would be 1000 minus 600, that is 400. Suppose, tariff from the government on this product, suppose it is 20% of the price of this product, okay. So, now, we have to calculate the effective rate of protection. So, here government nominal tariff is, what did I say? It is 20%, right? So, after government nominal tariff, the price of this product is, it would be 1200, right? However, here the importable input price, it's say, that is 600, okay? That is, the government is imposing no tariff on the import of input, okay? So, the cost of the imported inputs will be the same, that is rupees 600. So, here you can see what is the new value added here. That is, the price after nominal tariff rate is uh, 1200 and the cost of imported input, that will be the same, that is uh, 600, right? So, 1200 minus 600, how much? 600. That is the new value added. So, the government is here, the government is not charging any tariff on the imported input. Okay. Uh, see, the change new value added has gone from 400 to 600 up to 50 percent. So, the effective protection is 50 percent. Here, the tariff which was 20 percent. Okay. So, here the effective rate of protection is higher than the nominal tariff. 